Hi, I'm Tracy Sofra and I work with career-minded professional women. And for too long, women have been told they're not good with numbers, they can't manage money, and one day someone's gonna finally rescue them. Well, I'm here to dispel that myth once and for all. The last couple of days have been a little bit trying for me, um, like I'm guessing probably all of you, so I, I did wanna share that with you. Um, I too am human and I have my ups and downs. And ultimately, the thing that brings me back to my nature, which is generally positive, and as you know, I've shared with you many times, I am the eternal optimist. The thing that brings me back are my people, is the group, the people I hang with, right? The people I hang with ultimately bring me back and remind me, one, of who I am, what makes me tick, and what excites me, and what lights me up. And the minute I connect with them, I get all worked up and empowered like I am right now in front of you in this video. So I thought, why don't I share that today in my life? Why don't I talk about that and express how important this truly is? You are the average of the five people that you hang with the most. So if you're hanging with five negative people, guess what? You're going to be the sixth negative one. Make no mistake about that. And you know the disturbing part about that? You won't even know it's happening. It'll just happen. You know the people that are the closest to you, whether they're your family, um, your social group, could be your sporting group, it's obviously your work life, your neighbours, your community, whatever you're involved in. Those people have the greatest impact on your beliefs, your values, the decisions that you make what you believe to be true. And you ultimately, over time, without even realizing it, if it's a negative one, if it's one that's not serving you, you will actually become a product of their environment and you won't even know it. So it's so important to hang with positive people, to hang with can-do people. I'm gonna share a quick little story with you um, on, that was on my honeymoon with my hubby 18 years ago. We drove up the coast. It was 2001, it was 9-11 that happened. We got married in December of that year and we were meant to go overseas and of course everything um, went haywire and we couldn't go. So we jumped in the car and what do you do? You go to the Gold Coast, right? So there we were, traveling along. It was absolutely amazing. But the story I wanna tell you is this. We got to the Gold Coast and we checked into one of the apartments there on the beach, as you do. And when we checked in, they offered us, um, they had about two nights available. We thought, great, we can settle in here for a couple of nights and just chill and decide what we're gonna do next. The next morning, we got up to have breakfast and as we were walking out, we said, you know what? I think, well, I basically said, you know what? I think I wanna stay here for a little bit longer. How about we stay for a week? On the way out, we get to reception and we wait in line and she says, good morning. And we say, good morning, um, we're just wondering, can we extend our stay? Can we stay a little bit longer? And her immediate reaction was, oh no, we're fully booked. That's not possible. And we thought, mm, geez, that's a bit of a shame. Now we're gonna to have to come up with a plan B. Anyway, we went to breakfast, had a beautiful breakfast. You know what the Gold Coast is like. I wish I could get there. Um, and if you are in the Gold Coast, lucky you, but I'm not sure you're able to actually get out there. I'm not sure what's going on in Queensland versus Victoria. But anyway, I'm digressing. So we go and have breakfast. And my husband and I are very in tune with each other and we know what each other's thinking because we kind of don't like no, yeah? We don't like taking no for an answer. And we looked at each other as we walked back in because there was another girl at reception, right? So we looked at each other and went, mm, let's have another crack. We walk up and she says, good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Sofra. And we said, good morning. And she says, how can I help you? And we said, look, we're just wondering, can we stay a little bit longer? Have you got anything else? And she says, just a minute. Tick, 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 tick. She's looking away on her computer and we're like, mm, okay, well, this is a bit different to, oh no, absolutely not, we're fully booked. And she says, actually, I can extend your stay by another week. And we've gone, oh, okay, that's great. Um, different room? She says, no, I've been able to move a few things around. You can stay in the same room. Can do people, right? can do people. I can tell you a million stories like this that I've experienced in my own life. You've got to get the can do people. They will change your life. So 
Who are you hanging with? Are they helping you or hindering you? Are they lifting you up or are they bringing you down? You need to open your eyes now more than ever because the people that are positive and looking for the opportunities, the people that are looking at this through positive eyes, through the positive lens are the people that are gonna help you and make you feel so much better throughout this crisis. Because I know how you feel. I've had my two down days and I'm back up again because of the company I keep. Which leads me to some exciting news. I'm stoked, I can't wait. Next Wednesday, Few financial executive women have live events, okay? So I'm going to be one of their guests on Wednesday, the 22nd at 12 p.m. I have put the link um, in the details of this post. Please register, it is absolutely awesome. If you wanna get up close and personal with me in a safe, private space, here's your chance because I know how everybody feels. I've been working with people for 30 years. I've been through the GFC and lots of other crises with clients and personal crises. I'm about to share with you everything that I absolutely have. I'd love to see you there. Join me next Wednesday, 22nd at 12 p.m. and the link is in the bottom of this post. View Financial Executive Women and we're connecting live. I'm Tracy Sofra. I work with career-minded professional women I'm going to see you next week and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Have a great night.